to all our dear televiewers and subscribers of Tepet R Teleturuan. I am Joanna Marie Gibaldine, Junior High School Science Teacher from the Ansarile Integrated School, your teacher presenter for today's episode. In our last episode, we were able to discuss the different regions of electromagnetic waves. For today's episode, we will talk about the applications of electromagnetic waves. Last time, we were able to compare the relative wavelengths of different forms of electromagnetic waves as well as the regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Let us first have a short recap of our previous episode. Take a look at this picture. Electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations are produced by accelerating charges. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. They can travel in a vacuum and in a material medium. They have common speed of 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second in a vacuum. The electromagnetic spectrum or EM spectrum is the arrangement of EM waves in order of decreasing wavelength or increasing frequency. The different types of EM waves are radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, and gamma rays. For today's episode, we will cite examples of practical applications of the different regions of EM waves, such as the use of radio waves in telecommunication. Let's start with radio waves. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. The frequency of radio waves ranges from 30 kilohertz to 3000 megahertz. This frequency range is divided into specific bands for wireless communication. Let us start with low frequency. Low frequency has 30 to 300 kilohertz. It is for long distance communication and navigation. Medium frequency, on the other hand, has a range of 300 to 3000 kilohertz and it's for AM radio broadcasting. AM stands for amplitude modulation. High frequency, it has a range of 3 to 30 megahertz and it is for Shortwave broadcasting, tags for use in building access, public transportation, and electronic payment systems. Very high frequency. It has a range of 30 to 300 megahertz. It is for FM radio broadcasting. FM stands for frequency modulation, ground to aircraft, and aircraft to aircraft communication. Ultra high frequency. It has a frequency range of 300 to 3,000 megahertz. This for police radio communication, military aircraft, and television transmission, modern mobile phones, and global positioning system. RADAR is an acronym for Radio Detection and Ranging. It makes use of radio waves for detection of objects, weather forecasting, military surveillance, and air traffic control, as well as monitoring speed in highway patrol and tracking satellites and debris. Automatic doors, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth are familiar technologies that make use of radio waves. Global Positioning System or GPS and Radio Frequency Identification or RFID are other applications of radio waves that have revolutionized today's technology. Nearly all new cell phone models have GPS, as one of their built-in features. GPS allows us to locate positions within 10 meter to 100 meter accuracy. RFID is very similar to the Universal Product Code or UPC or barcode that we see on some grocery items. It can store and transmit data. One common example of RFID is the EasyTag, commonly known as EasyTag which we use to pay the role in our expressways. In the Philippines, some schools already use RFID. Medical applications of radio wave include magnetic resonance imaging or MRI for viewing internal parts of the human body without invasive exploratory surgery. Radio waves are also ideal for reducing the cellulite on the body, wrinkles and fine lines on the face, and for tightening sagging or loose skin. Let us proceed to the next region of electromagnetic spectrum, microwaves. 
Microwaves are considered as high-frequency radio waves and are mainly used for communication, especially from 2 GHz to 40 GHz. Microwaves are used in remote sensing for disaster management and mapping. They are also used to send signals for cable television as well as video or audio feeds from production bands to broadcast stations. Microwave Doppler radars are used in weather forecasting. A microwave oven is a common kitchen appliance. It uses 2.45 GHz microwaves cook food by transferring energy to the water molecules in the food. In addition to heating leftover food, a microwave is used in industrial process for drying and curing products. Microwaves are highly used in the medical field. Microwave ablation uses the heat of the microwaves to shrink or destroy tumors. Microwave imaging is used to monitor the progress of treatment in breast cancer, which can be distinguished as benign or malignant through microwave tomography. Let's proceed to the next one, infrared waves. Infrared radiations have a lower frequency than the red part of the visible light. We do not see infrared, but we feel it as here. Infrared rays are used in remote controls for television sets, burglar alarm systems, night vision cameras, and certain types of thermometers. Most common computers, laptops, palm tops, and printers are equipped with infrared data association ports that enable us to transfer and print data without connecting them with cable. Food can also be cooked using infrared radiation. An infrared grill uses an electric or gas element to heat a solid surface, usually ceramic, to a very high temperature. The ceramic radiates infrared waves directly into the food to cook it. Physiotherapists use heat lamps to heal sports injuries. Medical infrared imaging is used for diagnosis and prognosis in areas like oncology, rheumatology, sports medicine, and orthopedics. There you have it! Please stay tuned for more discussion on the applications of the different electromagnetic waves. We'll be right back! Let us proceed to the next region of electromagnetic spectrum, visible light. Visible light waves are used in traffic lights, commercial displays, car headlights, and tail lights. Every device that has a viewable screen makes use of visible light. Television, liquid crystal displays, and touchpads devices are examples. Visible light is also used by plants in photosynthesis. Visible light communication or VLC using light emitting diodes is an emerging form of wireless technology. It can be used for simultaneous audio and video streaming. The optical fibers that replace telephone wires use visible light to transmit signals at high speed and or long distances. One source of visible light is laser. Laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Laser light is used in many medical procedures, optical imaging, surgery, endoscopy, and treatment. Laser light is also used in medical research and microscopy. The region next to visible light is ultraviolet radiation. There are three kinds of UV, UVA, UVB, and UVC. UV lights, more popularly known as black light, are used to detect forged banknotes. UV light is also used during forensic investigations at crime scenes. In procedures like searching traces of blood and other body fluids, fingerprints, and footprints. Black light is also used to sterilize medical equipment and purify water. 
UBA is used to treat conditions like psoriasis and vitiligo that cause dispigmentation of parts of the skin. UV stimulates the production of vitamin D in our body. Let us proceed to X-rays. X-rays are produced by the sun and other stars. X-rays are used to detect abnormalities in the skeletal system like fractures and tumors. They are also used in dental imaging. Aside from taking photographs of our internal body parts, as in computer XCL tomography or CAT, X-rays are used in airport security checks to see the inside of passenger luggage. X-rays are also used to study the arrangement of atom in a crystal by a process called diffraction. Let us have the last one, gamma rays. Gamma rays are given off by radioactive materials like cobalt-60 and cesium-137. Gamma rays are highly penetrating because of their very short wavelengths. Gamma rays are used in the industries to detect rocks in metals and to sterilize equipment and commercial products. Non-contact industrial sensors using gamma sources are used in refining, mining, chemical, food, soaps, and detergents, as well as pulp and paper industries to control volume levels, density, and thickness. Food irradiation with gamma rays kills bacteria, insects, and parasites that can cause foodborne diseases. In agriculture, gamma radiation helps breed new seed varieties with higher yields. Gamma radiation is also used to eradicate pests like fruit flies. Gamma rays are used to destroy cancer cells in a process called radiotherapy. In external radiotherapy, the patient is exposed to a beam of radiation. Gamma night surgery and stereotactic radiotherapy are examples. In internal radiotherapy, radiation comes from implants or liquids placed in the body. This is sometimes called bracket therapy. In a nuclear medicine scan, a small amount of radioactive material or traces is injected into or taken orally by patient. A special camera, a gamma camera, is then moved along the part of the body to be scanned to take images of it. Thank you very much for your active participation. I hope you learned a lot. This has been Joanna Marie G. Balbin of the Ansarile Integrated School. See you again next time. Goodbye!